Okay, welcome to the Daily Beard for March 5th, 2019. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm out of it today. Um, I've had a, a pretty depressed day, and I just came back from actually a youth event where I, I, I used a lot of energy. Let's put it that way. I was singing karaoke with a bunch of teenagers, and uh, we, we won a competition singing Hooked on a Feeling by Blue Suede. Um, we win pizza. This is going to be exciting. Um, but I already had no energy going into that, and now I have even less. So, um, I'm glad I went. It was, it was a good time, and I had a good time with my guys, but I don't know. I, I, there's some stuff going on with me and my, my, my parents. And I'm not going to say what it is because it's I'm not I'm not interested in people knowing all the dirty details of my life, but I just feel helpless. Like I, I've been hurt. Let's put it that way. And I feel very helpless, and I don't know what to do as my next steps. And it, it really like it happened yesterday. It's happened a bunch in the last two years in particular. Um, but yesterday it, it happened and it just, it's tired me out. I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm at a, a crossroads, kind of, because crossroads you can go left, you can go right. I feel like I'm at a dead end really, because I'm not sure what to do. So I've come to like literally a dead end and it's just like, what do you do at a dead end? You can't, I can't go back. There's no going back. And like mainly there's just plowing through uncharted territory. That's your options. And that's basically what I have to do right now. And it's, it's tiring me out. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm just, I'm tired. Like it, I woke up last night at four to use the bathroom and then couldn't get back to sleep because my brain wouldn't shut off. And what do you do when someone has hurt you and then just either doesn't care or doesn't remember that they hurt you and just moves on and then well, is going to hurt you exactly the same way again and they just keep doing it and doing it and doing it and I'm trying to uh, God's been convicting me to try and forgive my, my parents um, and get a better relationship with them he has been and I'm, I'm trying and then they things keep happening and they keep doing things. Sorry, that's my ferret, if you're confused on what that noise was. Uh, yeah, we have a ferret named Flash, he's behind me. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. Like the, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results and that's kind of where I'm at. And I got to do something different, but I don't know what it is in particular. And that's making me tired and depressed. Like, my depression works a lot like other people's depression. In the, Like, there's two types of depression. There's chemical, like mental, like in your head, which I have, major and chronic. But there's also situational depression. So, like, when your dog dies, you know, you have a family member die, you lose your job, or your parents hurt you very badly it will send most people into a depression and for me because i already have depression it just makes it that much faster going there it's like an express ticket you know i'm at disneyland and i got the fast pass on like if you don't know what that is like you get a pass that makes you bypass all these people and skip the line basically well i kind of got that with my depression i can go to my depression faster than most people could go to being depressed over the same things um yeah gotta go new grounds i'm praying about it i'm trying to figure it out i'm not sure what to do but even talk I, I thought talking today about it earlier today with someone would help you okay buddy oh he's sneezing okay but it didn't it actually it actually made me more tired so i'm just not sure where to go from here Sorry to bum me out. That's just where I'm at. Thanks for watching. Stay bearded.